know, we do a lot of work out of Palo Alto, California, um, and that's where I spend most of my time. And you know, a disproportionate amount of our development community is is obviously outside of the United States, and a lot of this actually is here in Europe. Um, so I really appreciate you guys taking the time uh, to come out today uh, to the developer garage, and I appreciate getting the chance to talk to you guys about some of the stuff that we're doing. And I know Mike Vernal and Ethan Beard, um, who run the, the platform engineering team at Facebook, um, and the, uh, the developer network team are here as well. So uh, I just appreciate you guys coming out and, and kind of having the chance to talk to you guys about what we're doing. So a few weeks ago, I guess it was about six at this point, um, we had F8, and we, we started rolling out some new initiatives that we have for platform, um, this new initiative that we call the Open Graph. So I want to just take a few minutes to talk about that. Um, I only, I'm only going to talk for a few minutes now and give um, Mike and Ethan a chance to really get into a lot of the stuff that we're doing. We're going to have a Q&A at the end of the day, um, so if you guys want to stick around for that, I know we're all going to, and we'll be happy to answer all the questions that you guys have then. Um, so at, at a high level, I think we're just at a pretty interesting point in, in the world, right? Where, where there's this big trend where people are sharing more and more information, and the world is getting uh, more and more open kind of every day, and that, that goes by. And a lot of us are part of the first generation that kind of really grew up with computers and had the internet from a very young age. I mean, I remember um, Google came out when I was in middle school. And, um, and so I grew up, and, and I had you know AOL from a really young age, and then, and then one year it was... Napster, and it's like, all right, now you can download all the music that you want. Um, and then Google came out, and search engines, it's like, all right, now you can find um, whatever information you want online. And then Wikipedia, and you could get whatever reference material you want online. It was really cool. And then, um, and then we started building Facebook, and you could start to look up um, whatever people you, were in the community around you and, and be able to connect with them and see some stuff about them. And then, you know, after that, uh, there's just been a huge amount of innovation in phones. Now there's the iPhone. You can get an app, any app that you want to do anything you want anywhere you go. And just like every year that goes by, there's just more ways to access more information. Um, and the world just keeps on getting better and better. So it's a really exciting time to be developing. Um, now, one thing that I think is really interesting is that as the world keeps on getting more open and there's access to more information and the ability to build more things, it's kind of interesting to see what people actually use and what people want to see. And what we've seen is that the, the Facebook web application is by far the most engaging um, website that's been built. And the reason why we think that's the case is because it's built around people. Right? So a lot of other um, websites out there, you use it to look up some other kind of information or some other kind of content. And when people use Facebook, we've done all these studies and we, we see how people browse the site. What people do when they use Facebook is they don't actually look at the navigation or anything like that. What they do is they look at people's faces. Right? And they kind of navigate the site through looking at who the people are um, who they care about on the site and what they're posting. And um, it, it kind of makes a lot of sense when you get into human psychology. It's just like a huge part of our brain is hardwired to help us process what's going on with the people around us um, and, and stay connected to people. So what we've been trying to do is just push forward this movement of designing products around people. And we realized very early on that we weren't going to be able to develop all the different things um, that, that could be made social. Um, so we've invested a lot in this development platform. So we started in 2007. Um, it's been building since then. There are now more than a million people worldwide who are building on it. And this is kind of one of the primary focuses of the company is just building out um, this platform so that way all of you guys can build the next generation of applications in this way that's kind of fundamentally social from the bottom up built around people. Um, so there are some great examples of, of uh, companies and products that have, that have come from, from out here uh, that, that, to me, are, are actually some of the best examples of products that I've seen that have been built around people. So one example um, is just around social gaming. I think that that's probably the, the first interesting kind of software part of the industry um, that, in, in my view, has really been disrupted by um, a new set of gaming companies uh, that, that are building games primarily around people. Uh, so there's companies like Zynga back in Silicon Valley, but there's also Playfish out here, uh, which was recently acquired by EA. But I mean, those two companies, I think, were, were two of the early companies that were pioneering building social games. And one of the things that was different about social games is they weren't just 
um, websites where you know you put a connect with Facebook button on and you can get some optional social functionality. I mean, these were applications that were designed um, from day one to have all the mechanics of how the games worked uh, be focused around how you were playing with your friends and interacting with your friends and using you know, the resources that you have in the game to be able to um, interact with your friends. So they're fundamentally social.